Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another hit or miss and I'm actually really really excited because I got my first PR box from ColourPop and I am so excited because you guys know how much I love ColourPop and how I've talked about you know wanting to be able to review a lot of ColourPop things for you guys but since they do release a lot of stuff it's been hard for me to keep you know on top of their releases and stuff so I'm so excited that I have something for you today to kind of talk about and kind of you know give my opinions on and let you know what I think about it and whether it is a hit or miss. So before we get into this video please make sure to hit the subscribe button and as always if you're already subscribed just hit the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload and with that being said let's get into this I cannot wait to show you what I have so here's the box this is I believe the newest release from ColourPop it is their crystal collection so this is the box that it came in and I will be showing you guys everything that is in here so from what I understand about this collection is that it is crystal inspired there are four different sets and they are all inspired by four different types of crystals and those crystals are supposed to um, embody some sort of like what do you what would you call it like positive vibes and energies. like so. yeah positive vibes and energies. so um, I'm gonna go through these with you guys <laughs> that little cellophane wrap is a little bit noisy, but to be honest, I'm not too familiar with like crystals I do know that so many people really love crystals and really do believe that they bring them good positive vibes and that they You know are good luck charms or whatever I personally have not researched that and I don't know too much about that whole thing um, But I do love crystals and I love <laughs> rocks in general. I've always been that way They do have little cards in here that will describe what each thing is made of and you know what kind of positive vibe is infused into these products. Um, that's one really cool thing about these products is each line is infused with the crystal or crystal powder, I think, of each crystal that the line is made of. <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense. Hopefully it did. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys is Rose Quartz, and I'm going to read a little bit about it. Um, Rose Quartz is known as the Love Stone, so it's known for inspiring the love of beauty and the imagination, be a lover, not a fighter. This one is infused with crushed Rose Quartz crystals and inspired with actual gemstones during the production process. So the three products that are made with Rose Quartz are a Rose Quartz Crystal Liquid Highlighter, then we have a Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray, and a Rose Quartz Crystal lip balm. So let me show you guys what these bottles look like really quick. That's cute pink packaging. This is not a first impressions video actually. I do have some of these things on my face right now. So it comes out and it's really really moisturizing and at least that's what it feels like and you buff it out onto your skin and you can tell it has a little bit of an iridescence. This one is more of a pinky undertone and as we go through them you'll see the different kind of undertones and the different kind of iridescence that each of them give off. This one is beautiful in my opinion and I personally think this might be my favorite one. I know I'm showing you my favorite maybe first but um, that's what it looks like on my hand. It's not too much and it's really just something that blends into the skin and it has a rose gold kind of reflect which is something that I personally love. Next we have this Rose Quartz Crystal Priming Spray. This is the box and this is the bottle. It's a really cute like glass bottle. Um, the packaging of these are really impressive actually because considering the price of them they're actually really well made and have gorgeous packaging. So the Rose Quartz Highlighter is $9 and the Priming Spray is only 6 So they're really affordable products as always from ColourPop. That's one reason why I love ColourPop is they have so many really great quality products for a really good price. This says on the box that it has real rose quartz in it, apple extract for intense hydration, grapefruit extract, and olive oil for a dewy finish. That sounds like a fabulous spray to me. I did put it on my face today underneath my makeup. Um, I haven't been able to wear these for a long period of time because I did get them yesterday and my first time trying them on my skin was today. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to keep you guys posted and let you know if you know I feel like the priming spray really helps my makeup last. I dropped it. Hopefully I'll be able to let you guys know whether this works or not but I really did like the scent of it the spray bottle on the priming spray and this goes to all the sprays that I have tried so far um, I would definitely recommend trying to pump out the product when you first receive it away from your face because the first spritz is really like harsh and would probably ruin your makeup if it's a finishing spray so just make sure to spray it a couple times away from your face first um, when you first get it and then hold it pretty far away from your face for a lighter mist because it's not like the lightest spray bottle that I've ever used as far as a priming spray or setting spray goes but if you hold it far enough away it's totally fine. Next in the Rose Quartz collection is the Crystal Lip Balm. I believe 
all four of the collections have a lip balm and I did try these on and they feel extremely hydrating. Here's what the packaging looks like. It feels really, really heavy duty actually. It has a little bit of a weight to it, which I really like. Um, I did try this one. They all kind of have a white base. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see me swatch these lip balms to be honest. I put it right here. You can kind of see the iridescence of it. I'll maybe put some on my lips. Can you see like the pink reflect that just happened? Yeah, I'm not loving how it went over my lipstick. So maybe I'll take my lipstick off really fast so that you guys can see what exactly this looks like on my lips because it's hard to swatch actually. I don't know if you can see that rosy pink reflect, but it does feel extremely hydrating and it's a very unique lip balm. I've never owned anything like this. I've never owned any sort of holographic lip color. Um, I do like how it's a lip balm though because for every day that's something that I would actually wear but I do think it's really pretty and I think that it is wearable considering it does have a really pink reflect and that is everything for the rose quartz collection I think that collection is overall really really beautiful so let's move on to the next one. Oh, also I should let you guys know that the lip balms are five dollars so really really good price okay this next one we have is the aqua marine so it's a really pretty blue one aqua marine embodies the energy of the ocean and its crystal clear purity and calm relaxing properties it's known for promoting mental clarity and helps to inspire truth and wisdom. So this one is supposed to promote, you know, being calm and cool and collected. So the Aquamarine collection includes a Aquamarine crystal setting spray. So they have two primers and two setting spray, primer sprays. And then they have an Aquamarine crystal liquid highlighter and the Aquamarine crystal lip balm. So I tried this one today. I set my face with this. Um, I didn't have any immediate issues with it. I felt like it made my makeup look really nice. Everything looks really nice and set. Again, I do not know how long this will make my makeup last because I haven't been able to wear it for a full day yet but it is the same packaging as the rose quartz it just has a little bit of a blue tint it as a glass bottle for the aquamarine crystal liquid highlighter let me swatch this for you guys this one definitely has more of an obvious reflect in it I accidentally put quite a bit on my hand this has a very like purpley blue reflect like extremely can you see how it's really pretty it really is a pretty product when you swatch it on your hands it's really like exciting to look at but it is really blue this is something that I have yet to try on my face because my only concern with this would be that it would turn my face like a blue color um, which I personally would not be a fan of but it is a really pretty product it has that same really smooth formula you can actually mix this in with foundation or a moisturizer which I think you know might make the blue color a little bit more subtle and would just hopefully give you a little bit more of a radiance but it is a really pretty liquid highlighter and then let me try on the aquamarine lip balm again it feels like a really hydrating lip balm um, this is definitely more bluish violet this is something that honestly I personally probably wouldn't reach for just because I'm not used to seeing like bluish reflective lips but I do think it's still wearable in a way and they are extremely extremely comfortable so that is the aqua marine set let's see what's next so the next one is amethyst and amethyst is a calming stone that opens the third eye what does that mean? <laughs> it clears the mind, enhancing intuition and inner strength. Attract peace and balance in your mind, body, and spirit for when you need a little quiet clarity from your busy life. It's supposed to bring you like peace and make you calm. Okay, so in the Amethyst collection, we have another priming spray. So this is the other priming spray, the Crystal Liquid Highlighter, and the Amethyst Lip Balm. So I'll show you them, you know, same old, same old. Let's do this drill. Here's what the priming spray looks like. It's just a little bit of a tint of purple. Um, this is supposed to have amethyst crystal, honey, dragon fruit extract, and punica grapnetum and citrus aratinum dulcis. Oh, orange flower. Orange flower extract and sweet orange and pomegranate are in this. I realized I forgot to tell you guys what was in the in the aquamarine one. Sorry, I forgot. This contains coconut water, apple, olive oil, and coralina, natural red algae. So it sounds like there's some pretty decent ingredients in here. And I like the fact that these priming sprays are hydrating because I love when I have hydrated skin. So let me swatch for you the amethyst crystal liquid highlighter. I don't think I've touched this one yet, actually. Let's see how this one goes. Ooh, 
Ooh, uh, pretty. So this is the amethyst one. You can tell there's a slight purple hue, but it's not as bold as like the blue one. And I feel like this one you could get away with a little bit more than the blue one. Um, I don't think it would really tint your skin as much. I think it would just kind of brighten if anything. So I do really like that one. And I think this is one that I may actually try out on my face. Okay, so here goes this lip balm. In person, these are very bold looking. I like the idea of this color, like when my lips are shut, but I don't, it makes my teeth look like a weird color. I don't know. Anyways, that is the Amethyst collection. Let's go to the last one before I give you guys my final thoughts. Last but not least, we have Advent Aventurine. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. Aventurine is all about the good vibes, better known as the good luck stone. It attracts positivity, creative energy, and inner strength. Perfect for the go-getter. It enhances success, growth, and prosperity into your life. Oh, I like this one. I think I want to drench myself in this stuff. Okay, let me show you what we have in here. Okay, so we have the Aventurine Crystal Setting Spray. So this is the second setting spray. And this is infused with cucumber water, lemon extract, and honey. And then of course, just like all the other collections, there's a crystal liquid highlighter and lip balm. So I'll show you these as well. Here's the bottle. It's a little green color. And let me swatch for you guys the Aventurine Liquid Highlighter. Okay, so here it is on the back of my hand. Um, um, one thing I will say that I like about this already is that even though it does have a green reflect in it, there is some gold in there, which makes me feel like it would be a little bit more wearable. Yeah, it's definitely not like Wizard of Oz green, you know? So I really, really like this, and this would be one that I may try out on my face too. And now for this green lip balm. This will be an interesting one. Let's see. So that one definitely looks really cool because it's got like that greenish gold thing going on. I'm kind of into this one, kind of, but I've never like really been somebody to gravitate toward green lips usually. So that is it for the Aventurine collection. Um, now let me tell you guys what my thoughts are on this and whether I feel like this collection is a hit or miss. So here are my final thoughts. I feel like there is a market, absolutely and definitely for sure, there is a market for people who love the holographic unicorn mermaid type makeup things that are bold and really like creative and fairy tale inspired and I feel like if you're somebody like that and you love the holographic type makeup I feel like this would be something that you would really really enjoy especially more of the like out there colors like the aquamarine or the green or the purple um, for me personally if I'm honest if I were to pick one collection that I feel like would actually really work for me it would be the rose quartz collection and that's just because the liquid highlighter is rose gold so for me personally, it's something that I would actually wear every day. It wasn't too much for me And I actually did really like the formula of the liquid highlighters um, But I personally am not like a massive fan um, for every day for me Like I just personally don't gravitate toward holographic type makeup. I like more natural looking makeup That's the collection that I was drawn to first. Absolutely I think that the priming sprays and the setting sprays are brilliant and the fact that they're only six dollars Makes me feel like that's something that would work for everybody no matter what what your makeup style is. Like everybody could incorporate a priming spray and a setting spray if they want to, and you could make any sort of makeup look using those, you know what I mean? So those are something that I would really recommend. As far as how they perform though right now, I can't give you guys my opinion. Obviously this is the first day that I've tried them, so I will try to keep using them, let you know how I feel about them, but um, I didn't have any issues, nothing made my skin feel weird. I really like how my makeup is looking right now with the priming spray and the setting spray, and then I have the rose quartz um, liquid with a highlighter mixed into a moisturizer on my face as well underneath my foundation and I just feel like it really did give my skin a nice luminous glow but not too much I didn't have any issues with it when I put the liquid highlighter on my face I mixed it in with a moisturizer and it just looked like it was a Becca backlight priming filter type of glow because I did dilute it a little bit with my moisturizer and I really liked it I'll be honest I did I definitely will keep having to try out some of the liquid highlighters on my face and see if you know it gives my face a blue or purple tinge to it because I personally would not really like that, but I'll let you guys know. It may be a lot more subtle than I think it is. Um, overall, I feel like I need to, you know, applaud ColourPop for the really unique collection and the idea of it. I feel like it's a really fun idea, and I feel like those of you who are into crystals and into good luck charms and things like that may really find it meaningful in a way because I know that the founder or the, or the founder or the CEO, I believe, at ColourPop is apparently really into crystals, so this seems like a really personal collection for 
her, something that she would really be into. So I don't doubt that there's people that would really enjoy that aspect of it. But like I said before, I've just never really gotten into that myself. I don't really know too much about it. So, but I do appreciate it and I think it's really cool. So is this collection a hit or a miss? Um, for me, I think that the Rose Quartz collection is a hit for me and the rest of them I would consider a miss just because I personally, you know, wouldn't be thrilled about or wouldn't be drawn to purchasing anything that has a holographic kind of hue to it, except for maybe the priming and setting sprays, like I said before. I think those are a hit as well. But for me personally and my personal makeup style, I think that the Rose Quartz collection was the biggest hit and the rest of them I just probably wouldn't care for and wouldn't reach for had I not been sent them by ColourPop. So that's kind of my full opinion. Um, I hope that that made sense. If you guys have any questions about these products that I may not have answered, please comment down below. If you guys have tried them and if you loved one of the collections that maybe I wasn't super into, comment that down below. Let me know. Overall, I'm so grateful to ColourPop for sending me this collection and I'm so happy that I was able to kind of review them for you guys and test them out for you so you can know, you know, what you might be interested in and what you might want to go out and buy. So I will link everything down below as always. Let me know if you guys like these types of hit and miss videos. I enjoy filming them. Let me know if you like seeing them and let me know what other new launches you would like to see me review if there are any. As always, also comment down below letting me know what other videos you would like to see because you guys know I love your suggestions and your opinions so let me know. Make sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out. I love you all so much. Thank you for all of your support always and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye!